Hey guys, Bernie Kenshin here. Welcome back to another Kenshin reaction and review. Unfortunately, this is the final episode of season one. This anime has been phenomenal as a longtime Kenshin fan. This adaptation is beautiful. I did go back and rewatch the 90s version of Kenshin vs. Saito. And yeah, it's it's not, this new anime is not on the same level, but it's good. It's not bad. It's good. I highly enjoyed it. If you haven't already, go check out my reaction. It was so good, guys, but definitely not on the same level. Like I said, it's really hard to compare the two because they're two separate adaptations, but compared to the 90s anime, there's just something about the 90s anime, and I don't know if it's because it's so nostalgic, and it might be biased because I am a longtime Kenshin fan and I grew up with Kenshin, but it's still so good. And I'm wondering, what are we going to see in this episode? I know we're going to see the shot of Shishio here, though. I'm really excited to see what he looks like in this anime. And we honestly might see Sojiro. I'm hoping we do. We might get Akubo's assassination and see Sojiro, but I'm not too sure exactly what we're going to see, but Kyoto arc is here, guys. One of my favorite arcs in all of Anna manga. I'm so excited. You guys have no idea how excited I am for Kyoto arc. All of the fights in Kyoto are going to go so hard in this new anime, and even though it, we might have to wait a year or two, that's fine with me. They just need to take their time on this because that Kenshin versus Shishio animated in this new style is gonna look so good and it has me so excited but let's jump into the episode okay yeah i think we're gonna get we're gonna get akubo's assassination and we're gonna see sojiro uh, we might we might see kenshin saying goodbye to karu maybe i do like how the 90s anime um, did like the transition with Kenshin where he was the, he turned into the Batosai and then his normal self. This anime didn't really do that. Shishio. Oh, I'm so excited to see what he looks like. Yo! There he is! Yo, let's go, let's go. Oh, I like how they did the, the Jupongana. It wasn't it wasn't as clear as the manga panel is kind of like a silhouette. It still looks really cool. Poor Kenshin. Kenshin's like, I don't kill anymore. Who do you guys don't understand? I am not the Batosai anymore. <laughs> Saito. <laughs> Saito is so badass. I love him so much. Oh man, this has me so excited for Sino versus Usui. It's gonna look so good. God, I love how they animate his eyes in this. Yeah, we're gonna see Sojiro! We're gonna see my boy. Pretty boy Sojiro. And then maybe this panel at the end with um, Shishio again. <laughs> we're gonna see the scene where Megumi ties the dog leash to Kenshin. Oh, did they cut that out? They cut out the, the Megumi dog leash. Oh my god, Sojiro! Sojiro! My boy, let's go! Yo, there's my boy. <laughs> okay, I love his voice. Damn, he was on the way to see Kenshin and he gets freaking murdered. Oh, I remember watching this for the first time and I was like, what? What is happening? Okay, so they didn't add- they would cut out this panel with Kenshin when he's like, Makoto Shishio. There is no Shishio. They're cutting out a lot of things. What the heck? Okay, they also cut this out as well. They, they cut out this conversation between Saito and Kenshin. This scene always made me cry in the 90s anime, but it's not as beautifully animated as the 90s anime because, as you guys know, they changed it up a little bit and Kenshin and Karu are at the 
the river or the pond and there's fireflies. It was just so beautifully done and just, just this, this just doesn't feel the same. Like it's good, but it just doesn't have that emotional impact like the 90s anime. I don't, I don't like this. I'm sorry. I don't like this. Okay, they're adding the ending credits now. Okay, I don't like this at all. Maybe they'll extend it in the next season, but I doubt it. It does not hit as hard as the 90s anime. Oh. Yo, that's Shishio speaking, and Sojiro. Yo, okay, okay, okay. Oh my god, Shishio at the end. Okay, that was cool. That was good. That was good. That was good. But I'm really disappointed with the Kenshin um, saying goodbye to Karu. That was pretty disappointing. It just did not hit as hard as the 90s anime. The 90s anime made me cry. It made me so emotional and the beautiful scenery with the fireflies and the it was just it was just much more emotional in the 90s anime and I'm a bit disappointed they decided to add in the ending credits and then the music just did not fit. Not really what I was expecting to be honest. It was great seeing Sojiro and Shishio Shishio looks amazing. I'm really excited to see the rest of the Jupongana. But uh, honestly, this was quite disappointing. I mean, there's a lot of scenes that they cut out. I'm I'm really sad that they cut out the scene where... Let's see if I can find it. The scene where uh, Megumi, like, puts a doll collar around Kenshin and she's like, You're not going anywhere. It was just really funny. It was a really funny scene. And I like how the 90s anime did that and they cut that out. Um, they also cut this... Um, they cut out the um, scene where Kenshin um, is like Makoto Shishio and then show Shishio, but I guess they saved it um, kind of for the end there. Um, not quite the same panel as the manga, but I guess they just wanted to reveal Shishio at the very end. There's a lot they cut out and it just did not feel the same as the 90s anime for me personally. Despite me being a little disappointed with this episode, this adaptation of Kenshin so far has been phenomenal. Um, I'm low-key kind of scared for a Kyoto arc. Like, I know the fight scenes are gonna look really cool, but they have been cutting out a few things and kind of um, moving things around and changing things up, which isn't too noticeable, but it it's just so hard because the 90s Kenshin anime, the second season, um, anyway, was perfect. It was so good. Um, the pacing was kind of slow just because of some filler episodes. Well, the filler episodes were more in season one than season two because there, there weren't no fillers in season two, but the pacing was kind of um, long compared to the manga, and that's what I like about this anime is like the pacing is kind of consistent and they don't spend too much time on certain scenes, but I don't know, like again, I just, this episode just, I was really hoping that it would have me excited the way the last episode had me excited, but it is what it is, and I'm really excited for Kyoto Arc. I'm really sad this is the final reaction for Kenshin of this year, but hopefully, again, we won't have to wait too long, and you guys hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, because I will be, of course, making more Kenshin videos. If you enjoyed my reaction, give me a thumbs up. Of course, let me know what you thought of this episode in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Burn attention out.